Hello everyone, welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. I'm Pamela Peck. Um, today I'm just going to do a really quick short video of something that I, I've been making for my family. Um, this is our holiday catalog, which is the current special right now, and on page 48 and 49 you will see this painted autumn suite, and I love this suite. Today I'm going to be using the painted harvest um, stamp set and then the painted autumn designer series paper to make just a really quick and I'm going to use this great little leaf punch um, it's just called leaf punch <laughs> so there you go um, to just to make um, a cute little table decoration I am going to have Thanksgiving here at my house and um, I have decided since I'm going to be hosting it, I am not going to do, um, I don't have a dishwasher and I wash everything by hand, so I decided that I don't want to wash the, so I hate washing silverware. If my mother is looking at this video at some point, I understand it, mom. She used to hate washing silverware too. So I am going to be using plastic silverware for Thanksgiving, which I think is what was traditionally used in the first Thanksgiving. Anyway, so I wanted to make something because I'm going to use paper plates too, so um, talk about chintzy, huh? But um, I wanted to make something to kind of dress up my table, and I've got a couple of ideas, but I wanted to share one with you today. So the Stampin' Up! has this mini treat bag thin lips die, and I have used it before. Um, let me grab one real quick. I made this, um, let's see, earlier in the year. Out of, it's this little treat bag, and I think it had a chocolate in it, but I, I think it got eaten along the way. Eaten? Eaten. I ate it. There you go. <laughs> anyway, so I made this earlier in the year, um, showing you how to use some DSP and stamping on it and just some different things that you can do. And I think it's really cute. This little treat bag is so easy to make. It is so cute. And it is used with this um, thin lips die. comes with a bunch of different things to do for embellishments on, on the um, treat bag, but I, you use the two different pieces and then it glues together and I would say, I don't know, that's about like the width of my hand. So, but um, for the silverware, I'm just going to use the one side and I'm going to show you how I did that. So this is called, again, the mini treat bag thin lips dies. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Now I went ahead and ran these through the big shots and um, if you haven't seen the big shots, I'll do a video sometime, but just for video purposes. I already took the die through, but it's a, a plate where you put the paper and you run it through and it presses down and it cuts it and it, and it actually scores it. So this is um, the Painted Harvest uh, paper that I was showing you in, or Painted Autumn, I think paper that was in there and you can see it's very well loved by me. I've been using it so I just ran it through and cut out a couple and I'm going to show you how there's two sides to these papers and I love it. It's got a score line here and I'm just going to fold that score line over like so and um, you can use, I'm going to get out my silicone mat you can use um, like fast fuse. Um, I think we even have tear and tape. Maybe I'll demonstrate tear and tape today. So tear and tape. I love this stuff. I will use this. So you just kind of pull out what you need and stick it along the edge like so. And I'm going to do it on the other side also. There we go. Okay, so, and then you peel off the little bit of covering on this side. Oh, sure. Use, use tear and tape on a video, Pamela. That's the way to do it. 
there we go it is easy but I'm always nervous whenever I'm on camera I have no idea why it just feels so out of my element okay so I've got that and because this one doesn't have a flap that you can fold up I'm gonna go ahead and just take a piece of this tear and tape I'm gonna go right across the bottom on one side like so this doesn't have to be um, super duper fancy because um, it's just going to be on the inside here. So let's see if I can peel that up. Oh, there we go. Okay, don't stick them together that way. This is, I usually use green glue and that's why I got out the mat because um, the liquid glue, because it gives me a little bit of time to center it. So wish me luck on centering this. I got a camera here in my face. But I think if I maybe start like so, that edge down, and then fold it over that way. Okay, so now I just have a nice little envelope like so, and it will fit my knife, fork, and spoon in it. But I want to decorate it up. So... I was trying to figure out the easiest way I could possibly decorate this and I took my uh, one and a half inch punch and as you can see I have done some for my table settings already and I went in here and I just picked out a pumpkin that I liked and try to center that and just clip it out because I thought that coordinated really well and then I am going to use a dimensional to pop that up and of course I need to okay I'm gonna pop that up like so and I'm gonna go to this painted harvest set and there is this leaf that matches our leaf punch and I love this leaf punch so I'm going to take um, this is old olive ink and I'm going to put the stamp on the block like such and I'm going to get a piece of scrap old olive cardstock I'm going to ink that up pretty good. Stamp my image down. Oops, got a little crazy with that. But the good thing of it is, is I'm going to use my leaf punch. I love this thing. And I can go in here and cut. Look where I'm putting that image and pop that out. So now I have a cute little leaf. So... Let's see here. Isn't that cute? Um, let's see if I've got something else I want to add. And you don't have to get too crazy about this. I mean, it's just a, um, a table kind of decorations. But I figured um, it matches the, the plates that I got. I got good plates. And then... Ooh, a little burlap. Does that give it a little something something? Let's try this really quick. I'm just gonna cut a piece of burlap. gives kind of a natural feel to it and I'm going to take this is the fast fuse and people struggle using this but it's actually very easy once you get the hang, hang of it you just kind of run it like a tape runner but when you get to the end make like a little check mark and then it doesn't booger up on the end this stuff is super sticky and I love it it reminds me of sticky tape 
So I'm gonna put that down. Let's see which way do I like it? This way. You know what? I wanna I'm gonna cut this so that this one's going this way and this one's going this way, and I think I want them both going the same direction. So I'm just gonna cut that. Okay, like so. And I will stick that down. And then I'm going to take the backing off of the dimensional and I will put that down in the center. And then I'm going to grab a glue dot. And stick a little glue dot on there. So I need something kind of sticky. And then I can put my knife and fork, my my good flatware out and stick them on my table for just a little bit of pizzazz for a table decoration for Thanksgiving. So that's my project for today. Um, I hope you can appreciate it. I do have some more table settings that I did, but this one I thought was really cute for those of us who hate doing dishes and are going to use the plastic this year. Um, I suppose you could do it even if you didn't use plastic instead of a napkin wrap, but I have kind of an idea. I'm going to do my napkin on the plate and try to make it look like it's fancy even though it's all disposable. So, um, you know what else? This could be, even if you didn't do that, why couldn't you put a little favor in there or an after dinner chocolate or something, you know, to, um, Maybe I should trim these edges. They might be a little long. But you get the idea of that. So if this is at all remotely interesting to you and you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below. Um, you can reach me at Piccadilly Stampin'. Remember, there's no G on there. It's stampin'.com. Um, and um, I have a link to my store if you want to purchase any of these products. Uh, also, please let your friends know about me. I am on Facebook on Piccadilly Stampin', and I am trying to grow my business, so I would love your support with that. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for tuning in. Today.